So now we get the ball valve, which goes on top of the PTFE gasket. So just to recap, we have the uh, screen, which can also be a coffee filter, 25 to 45 micron, unbleached, which you can buy from any supermarket in the country. Take your ball valve and that place on top. Now the screen stops any debris falling into the oil once you blast the gas through it. Your material. This is when uh, it can get a little tricky, especially if you're on your own. That fits in place. So the more the practice, the easier that gets. Now again, we like to use screwdriver to make sure that you can tighten this up as much as possible so that you don't get any leaks. Have oil or gas coming out of the bottom seal. Now you're confident that's nice and tight. You can start administering the gas. Now with every kit comes another tri-clamp. This is just in case you've got more material and you want to add another tube to the top of the existing tube. This comes free. So all you need to get then is a gasket that sits inside um, the top tube and the bottom tube. But today we're only using the six inch tube just to show you how, um, how to blast safely. Always blast outdoors in a well ventilated area. So the first thing we do is we take one of our Whippet premium butane 420 mil cans and we start administering it into the MB valve at the top of the tube. Okay, now we've uh, administered the gas and we're um, confident that no more gas will fit into the tube. This should take a minute, two minutes tops. Um, now we've got the, the tube up. Now at this point you can leave the gas stewing in your product or you can open your valve straight away. I like to leave it for a few minutes just to, um, just to basically stew uh, with the product. Once we open, now we we use big ball valves so that when you open uh, the valve you've got more control than when you use the smaller ones. So as you can see I'm just slowly but surely opening the valve. Now you can just see the product coming out, the liquid butane. Now you want to do this slowly because there's so much pressure in the tube. They're around 20 to 25 psi, maybe 30 psi. Um, that builds up within the tube, only about 24 psi. So if you do open the valve too quickly, then it's going to go all over the place. So once all the gas has come out of the tube, you're left with liquid butane and oil sat in your Pyrex dish. At this point then, um, you can do what you need to do with it. Um, put it in a vacuum chamber in one of our lab ovens, or just simply let the, uh, the gas evaporate. Okay, thank you for watching BHO Hardware. For more information, please visit bhohardware.com. Thanks for watching.